It's a staple scene on home game day. <laughs> Tailgating in the Muni lot. However, some tailgaters gone wild outside the Browns game Sunday is raising eyebrows. Video has surfaced on YouTube showing a couple engaging in sexual activity as cars drive past on the shoreway and people dance nearby. Cut to the next scene. Another YouTube video shows a man stripped down to his underwear and attempt to fight several people while tailgating. And that's not all. Sunday's tailgate scene included a local couple charged with child endangerment after allegedly ditching their nine-year-old foster son in the Muni lot to go into the game. Well, it's always crazy in the Muni lot. It has to be a contained craziness, though. Now, if you've ever tailgated in the Muni lot, certainly you'll recognize this van. It is the home to the Browns bunch, a staple in the Muni lot as well as the national tailgating scene. You know how we do. The Browns bunch aren't necessarily surprised by the videos, just a little disappointed. You're always going to have some bad apples, but the, the way I kind of look at it is if you're in a department store, you're going to have a few shoplifters. Are you going to shut down the whole department store because of a couple bad people? Um, you no. get a lot of fair weather fans who are want to get all their Browns pride in in a short time. So that'll give them a five hour <laughs> Muni Lot tailgate to get overly excited sometimes. Meantime, the Browns have released a statement reading, we strive to create a fan-friendly environment at the games or surrounding the stadium. We work with the city to limit that type of behavior. But you have to be responsible about it. At the end of the day, you do have a job, you do have family, and they're going to find out about this stuff. Well, it's too much if you're going to offend other people. Uh, keep it amongst yourself. You know, if you're going to be a little bit out of control, then you're going to need to do that. Probably stay home and not ruin the tailgating experience for everybody else. In Cleveland, Melissa Reed, Fox 8 News.